The universe is full of insanely strong objects that continually push our understanding of the physical world and its limit. It seems that every year, scientists will find more record-breaking objects that seem to dwarf what was previously known. With the advent of new, more powerful technology, astronomers will continue to search the skies to find these incredible objects. A superluminous supernova surprisingly close to home. In the year 2015, a team of astronomers from Kavli Institute for Astronomy and Astrophysics at Peking University were scanning the night sky when they stumbled across a curious point of light. Upon later inspection, this point of light turned out to be an extremely rare case of supernova referred to as superluminous supernovae. This special type of supernova releases an enormous amount of energy and shines much brighter than any other supernova in the sky. And it turns out that this superluminous supernova, now named Assassin 15 LH, only sits 3.8 billion light years away, making it one of the closest superluminous supernovae that astronomers have ever been able to witness. It also turned out to be the brightest object ever found in the universe, shining hundreds of billions of times stronger than the sun. But the team, led by astronomer Su Bo Dong, weren't looking for superluminous supernovae as they were exploring the night sky. It just happened to be a great surprise. How did the team discover this supernova? While using the Assassin Twin 14cm telescopes positioned in the mountains of central Chile, the supernova just sort of appeared as a dot of light. It wasn't until additional telescopes were able to turn their gaze towards the spot were they able to get an idea of what they had really found. Within seven days of the discovery, another telescope in Chile, the 2.5-meter DuPont telescope, delivered the electromagnetic spectrum of the supernova. After seeing it, Dong recalled, when we saw the spectrum, we were baffled. It didn't look like any supernova we had seen. So what made this supernova so special and how did it compare to the typical supernova? The differences of supernova and the superluminous variety. Supernovae occur when a massive star has run out of fuel and reached the end of its life. The star's outer layers of material will be blasted out into space while the dense core begins to collapse in on itself. There can be several results from a supernova event. If the star's core was massive enough, it will fully collapse and form a black hole. But if the core does not generate enough gravitational force to fully collapse, it will instead form one of the densest objects in our universe, a neutron star. Typically, supernovae are easy to pick out because of how bright they appear compared to the average star. Just how powerful is this event? Assassin 15LH shone a staggering 200 times brighter than the average supernova. And while the average supernova releases the same amount of energy as the sun will during its 10 billion years lifetime, Assassin 15LH released more energy than the sun would produce during 10 of its lifetimes, making this the most powerful supernova ever discovered by astronomers. If we compare this supernova directly to the sun, this supernova shines 570 billion times brighter. When astronomers have tried to answer the question of what kind of stars and scenarios may be responsible for events like this, they have been at a loss for the most part. But that doesn't mean that they don't have their own ideas and theories about the life events of Assassin 15 LH that led up to its superluminous supernova. What was unique about this star to create such a special supernova? The 10-meter South African Large Telescope spent some time observing Assassin 15 LH, and when they released their observations, they included the elemental signatures of the supernova, which gave astronomers a look at its chemical composition. From these signatures, the team of astronomers were able to tell that this supernova was a hydrogen-poor superluminous supernovae, which is one of the two types of these brilliant explosions when the spectrum lacks signs of the element hydrogen. Based on all the information that is available at this time, Dong's team has raised what they think is the best hypothesis to answer what led to this incredible event. When the parent star of Assassin 15 LH reached the end of its life, the star blasted out its outer layers of gas while the core collapsed to form a neutron star. But not just any neutron star. Astronomers believe that it formed a special kind of neutron star that generates incredible magnetic forces known as a magnetar. 
A magnetar consists of a hyper-dense, rapidly rotating magnetized core that can complete upwards of a thousand revolutions every second. Eventually, this magnetar reached the end of its life, and in a process that scientists don't fully understand yet, it exploded in a powerful, violent explosion that we can recognize as a superluminous supernova. While this hypothesis is plausible, it challenges the boundaries of what science considers physically conceivable at this time. Some astronomers believe that this is the result of a supermassive star going supernova. As Paolo Mazzali from the Liverpool John Moores University Astrophysics Research Institute said, it would be a challenge to get a magnetar to that level of brightness, as the star would have to convert its rotational energy into light with nearly perfect efficiency while remarking that it is still not an impossible thing to happen. So, if magnetars are behind some superluminous supernovae, how many of them do astronomers think they will find in the cosmos? How many magnetars are out there? Astronomers aren't sure if the death of magnetars are the catalyst for superluminous supernovae, but finding more of these special neutron stars will help astronomers uncover the mysteries behind these supercharged events. Magnetars are an interesting object that can erupt in violent electromagnetic events without so much as a warning, and then, just as abruptly, shut down. Compared to ordinary neutron stars, the magnetic field produced by magnetars is at least a thousand times stronger, equal to about a million billion Gauss, or 100 trillion standard refrigerator magnets. Could this supercharged magnetic field contribute to the superluminosity of a supernova? And if so, what are the processes that lead up to and control these massive explosions? Astronomers hope that when they can find more magnetars and study them, they will be able to put many of the unanswered questions about magnetars to rest. But no one knows how long it will take to find enough magnetars to discover these truths. So far, only 29 magnetars have been found within the Milky Way, and a total of 31 ever. So, if this supernova is confirmed to have formed a magnetar, that number will grow. What can astronomers hope to learn from Assassin 15LH? Because the brightness of Assassin 15LH pushes on the upper limit of physical theory, astronomers are rushing to try to explain and understand this incredible event. In addition to its luminosity, this event also occurred in a galaxy larger and brighter than the Milky Way, which threw scientists for a loop since the majority of superluminous supernovae occur in smaller, dimmer galaxies, where the rate of star production is much higher. All of this added together has made Assassin 15LH into a majorly rare event that astronomers will have to study in the hopes of pinning down its identity. Thanks for watching. Let us know what kind of extreme cosmic event you find the most interesting. See you next time on Matter.